everyone. So today we have Arnav Jindal from DTU, and he is going to give you a very special tips about placement preparation and how to build cool projects for your resume. So first of all, I would like to introduce Arnav. So he is in final year at DTU now, and he completed his internship at Visa, and now he has a full time placement offer from CureFit, which is a campus placement, right? So congratulations, Arnav, for cracking two big companies. and uh, my first question to you is that uh, what was the interview process how many rounds were there and what were the topics that curefit was more focused upon all right uh, so the first round was basically the online test so which was conducted on hacker earth and uh, it was for one hour and it had right. two questions all right so the first one was an easy dp question so uh, one dimensional two dimensional three d was it could be solved using one one d dp okay. but uh, you could make it it was basically n into 2 so oh, it's say, kind of a linear dp only. linear dp yes. so yeah so first question was that and uh, the second question was uh, around binary search all right so yeah so these were the two questions and we had one of when one r for that okay two coding questions in one hour yeah so that was your first round uh, on hacker earth yeah what about next rounds so after that uh, some people were shortlisted around 20 people out of uh, 500 <laughs> oh that's pretty small number then right <laughs> in the first list there were around 7 to 8 people and uh, in the second list there were 12 people so the bifurcation was basically uh, upon the num- the total score you had so uh, i was able to solve both the questions more or less correct so my score was 9193 and uh, people up to 165 were in the first slot and the others were in the second slot so what type of questions were there in the this round so the interview round yes yeah so uh, for the interview the structure was that we had three rounds so the first two were uh, core technical rounds in which i was asked uh, mostly deep uh, algo and ds only uh, they don't give that much importance to a resume uh, so yeah focus on ds and algo for that and the last round was hr cum technical round so in that round uh, we ha- i had questions from os but uh, my friends had questions from ds and algo so i'll suggest since most of the people had questions in ds and algo uh yeah focus on ds and algo for the entire due process for curefit all right <clears throat> so that's about the curefit process so i personally has uh, i have personally have observed you have you have built couple of cool projects during your btech and your flappy bird project i also saw so what kind of projects you were building working upon or what kind of technologies you learned during these 3 years 4 years time so yeah uh like everyone can be interested everyone most of the people can be like going through the flow and uh, making some projects just for the interview process but uh, i suggest uh, if you really want to get a hang of coding or tech or the tech world so like try and explore every possible technology that is out there the scope is too vast and uh, you have three years so however busy you are you can make extremely cool projects and uh, it will help along the way somewhere it will so uh talking about my projects first project that i worked on was basically on android development and uh, i did a course from coding blocks only right. so thank you guys for that so in that course uh i was able to learn all the basics required and after after that i made one application for my college dtu resources and uh, it had all the past year papers and notes and everything so that grossed around 7000 downloads and still counting right now and after that i was able to go on and make an android application for google forms google did not create one so i found an opportunity and uh, yeah so that application is currently on play store you can go through it and it has 75000 downloads wow that's like pretty huge number <laughs> 75000 downloads yeah. yeah so so i think now google has their own app but no, no google no. still doesn't have their own okay i'm happy <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, pretty cool mm-hmm. other than that i made a resume website arnavjindal.in 
so it's pretty similar to Pratik Vyas website <laughs> and inspired by that so you can see his interactive resume at Arnav's website and my resume at my website <laughs> so definitely you can tr- check out that so I was inspired by him uh, when I first took his class he showed us his resume so yeah I thought I would one day be able to make that and I did so thanks to Pratik Vyas and uh, so yeah that's one web project that i uh, that i did uh, then other than that uh, you might have heard of machine learning and ai so one of the most favorite games of people is uh, flappy bird so for flappy bird uh, i was able to make like you are playing it and uh, it gets monotonous after some time like i wonder you must have thought that let's maybe make a bot that can play the game for you so that's exactly what i did so uh, there's a bot and it uses reinforcement learning and uh, using distance from the nearest objects and object collision uh, it actually learns uh, after various games that it has plays, uh, played and uh, i guess it plays better than most of the people i know <laughs> so that was the other project and uh, talking about my other projects i worked a little on arduino so that's iot based project so i made a remote control car um, the car was made using I, uh, arduino you know and then the other accessories that you need are basically tires and mm-hmm. wires and everything you can get there any you can get that anywhere and then i connected it using a wifi module to my mobile application that i made and so yeah i could control the remote control car from my phone so that's an actually an amazing list of projects <laughs> that Arnav has done right so i've not seen much students doing these many projects and every project has some innovativeness some coolness inside it and i've personally seen Arnav's couple of projects so you should also try just go through his github handle or i will post the link in the description below so uh, one question that is coming to my mind is ki summers mein you were doing an internship and uske baad you have to come and sit for campus placements so aise bahut logo ke sath hota hai ki bhaiya how do we prepare while doing an internship so how did you manage that time also ki summers mein you have to sit for um, do your intern work and then you have to again come to campus and sit for placements तो उसके लिए कुछ टिप्स कुछ एडवाइस जूनियर्स को जो आप देना चाहेंगे कि कैसे प्रिपरेशन करनी और व्हाट इज द राइट टाइम टू स्टार्ट ओके सो या सो इवन माय जूनियर्स आस्क मी दिस अलॉट सो बेसिकली एनी इंटर्नशिप दैट यू गो फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ देम टेक ओनली अप टू एट आवर्स ऑफ योर टाइम अ डे मे बी लेस सो वॉट यू हैव इज एम्पल ऑफ टाइम एंड यू विल सी मोस्ट ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स और कॉलिग्स क्रोइंग इट अराउंड so uh, rather than doing that i actually focused on competitive programming so uh, during that duration of 2 months i participated in competitions on code chef and the code forces and uh, by going through that i was able to grasp a lot of rudimentary concepts and a little advanced concepts since i was able to improve my uh, code chef uh, star rating from 3 to 4 to 5 in just two long competitions so yeah i learned a lot uh, about optimization those little optimizations that you need to make your n square solution run in o n times so that's what makes all the difference between an interview so that helped me a lot and uh, because of that only uh, during my interview of qfit there was even just the first round the very first question that i had was around range minimum query Mm. so you can uh, look up look around that so let's try and imagine solving it yourself and then see how you can perform the optimizations and get the solution in log n and o1 so after i told that o1 solution then the interview the interview was impressed because not many people have that o1 approach in mind so do something don't waste your time it's just two months and placement is forever right so don't mm-hmm. waste your time yes so it's very important you keep on learning new things and as i have said ki optimization plays a very bigger role as you can see iski company mein jaise 500 students were there but only 20 got selected in the first round because not everyone was able to write an optimized solution yeah. so approach ana is one thing passing test cases is another thing it's an art that you have to learn by doing practice so i guess that's good amount of knowledge that you would have received from this interview and i hope you would also like it so thanks guys for watching and if you have any questions you can post in comments below we will try to get back to you, you with an answer 
so thanks a lot see you guys stay tuned with coding box